Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be testing the Akon AK32 Mini or it's called the pin. I don't know what they're calling it, but this is the 20 by 20 version of the Akon ESC. Now what I want to do today is I want to compare it against its, uh, I would say rival, which is which would be the Airbot Ori 32. Now I don't know if Airbot makes these or possibly even Spedex because of the color here. Kind of reminds me of a Spedex design, but anyways, it doesn't matter. So this Ori 32 was the one competing with 30 by 30 stacks. It was in the top league, and it was something that I would totally recommend for a 5-inch setup. Now, a lot of people also use this on a 6S. However, it's not rated for a 6S, and I still have not done the 6S ESC shootout, but a lot of people have been using this on a 6S and still strong from what I hear. Uh, however, today this one is rated for a 6S. However, again, I didn't test it for 6S, but we're going to see the 4S test and compare these two together. Now, a lot of people are saying this is a really great ESC, and we're about to see that right now. So if you've missed how to connect this whole combo up together, I do have a previous video on this. And today it's just going to be the ESC testing. So enough talking, and let's just jump right into the testing. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at the results. This is for the Akon AK32 Mini. I'm calling it the Mini. I'll have it linked down below. It's a 35 amp version. I'll also have other ESCs that are really good also linked down below in the top ESC list. If you can check those out, those greatly support the channel. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So let's start with the throttle noise. So here's 10% throttle, 25, 50%, 75, and 100% throttle. Both of these are exactly the same. On the right, we have the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers in order to give us a good representation of what might go on while you're flying. So as we can tell here, it's doing pretty good. Um, how good? We don't know just yet until we bring in the Ori 32 to compare because the 20 by 20 Ori 32 is the benchmark for 20 by 20 ESCs because it also competes with the 30 by 34 and 1 ESCs. And on the right here, we have the uh, simulated aggressive flight maneuver. It's looking pretty good. That, that, that looks good right out of the box, just looking at it before comparing it. So let's go ahead and bring in the Ori 32. The Ori 32 is going to be up top now. All right. Um, we should actually turn these around. So the top is the Ori 32 and the bottom is the Akon Mini. And let's start with the throttle noise here. So as we can see, they're basically identical except on 100% throttle, the Ori 32 does better because the, it's, it, the amplitude is much smaller Which because you want to see the line as flat as possible. This is like a perfect result if we're in a perfect world. Uh, so this is the Ori 32 at 100% throttle was running a lot cleaner. I wouldn't say a lot cleaner, but it is running cleaner in terms of these testing. It's running cleaner than the Akon in 100% throttle. Now, they're, they're basically almost identical. It's just minute differences here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. Now, up top is the Ori 32, and on the bottom is the AK, the Akon. So what we can see first right out of the box is that the Ori 32 has a lot more voltage spikes and lower voltage drops. And with the Ori 32, it's contained very well with its filtration on board. So that's really nice to see since this is rated for a 6S. The Ori 32 wasn't rated for a 6S, but people were still using it for a 6S. Now, if we take a closer look here, they're both pretty much performing identical in a way but what i would personally recommend and i see from my testing is that if you were to put a low esr capacitor the ori 32 theoretically would be better and why do i say that well because you can actually see what's really going on with the voltage and you can figure out what's going on with the motor 
here it's kind of chaotic a little um but saying that that doesn't make it bad it just it personally the overall better slightly better like maybe five percent better would be the ori 32 so it's best to go with what your budget allows you to uh but both of these perform really great that's what i'm trying to say i really can't say anything else let's bring in some bigger brother uh 30 by 30 4 and 1 escs so we can uh you know compare so hmm I'll bring in, let's bring in one of the best, which is the T-Motor F55 Amp 4 and 1 ESC. So let's bring that one in. So we can kind of see, okay, so this is actually really good that I brought this one. You see that? That's that's really good result. That is an insane result. And this is a 30 by 30 stack. But if you take a closer look here, you can kind of see what the motor is doing, but not really doing anything. And what do I mean by that? For example, this will just say 10% throttle, boom, 100% throttle, and you get the idea. And if you take a look at the Ori, you can also see the same things going on with it. With a low ESR capacitor, that'll filter that out to make it even better than this here, which is really nice. And same thing goes for this one, but this one seems to be slightly cleaner, in my opinion, but this is all theoretical. Um, so it's just up to you. Both of them are really great ESCs. Now, in terms of of longevity well i can answer one thing is that they can handle a good amount of current because some escs cannot handle the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers i've had 30 by 30 esc blow up before on one of these tests and i've showed you guys that before so overall it's a great esc actually both of them are good escs and let us know how your experience is going with one of these i'm pretty sure everybody would like to know i haven't had i still haven't put it on a build and i don't know if I, what build to put it on just yet but you know i would put it in feeling safe that it should be able to handle just fine here i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and if i did help you make a purchase or avoid a purchase please consider joining me on patreon that'll be absolutely awesome because i really want to get into esc stress testing and i need to set up a nice environment so my whole shop doesn't catch on fire and i'm currently in the progress of doing that now so any support can go an absolute long way guys and you could also use the links down below before you make a purchase those greatly support the channel enable me to bring in more crazy testing and well that's it guys i'll see you in the next one peace out